We feel that it is time to support government at this moment of our national and global history rather than oppose government and cast as passions on institutions of governance. Such acts of blackmail on institutions and government are at best unnecessary, they are very unsolicited, and they are deliberate attempts to undermine the value of the national response as well as the collective endeavor of the global collaborative community to overcome the pandemic. We are faced with a very severe danger. In fact, humanity is under an ambush. We are fighting an unseen but vicious enemy, and we must not take it for granted. Recall that on 1st of February 2020, when this pandemic was declared an emergency, there were a total of less than 8,000 cases globally. And we had 7,500 of those cases in China. The rest spread across about 62 countries of the world. Today, four months down the line, there are over 3.4 million cases globally with over 200,000 deaths. And the situation took the entire nations of the world unawares. Even the most sophisticated nations are grappling to cope with the impact of the pandemic. No nation was prepared for it. So no nation had an emergency or crisis template to combat the, the pandemic at the time it started. Every nation had to upscale her response, had to expand her health capacity to be able to meet the challenges. The entire nation at this point, as we begin this situation room, to be updating the public with our views on development and our present situations as we continue to fight the COVID. We want to call on all and sundry. We want to call on our religious leaders. We want to call on our medical experts, those who are serving, those who have resigned, to come on board and support government at this moment so that we can collectively, as individuals, as public, as government, surmount this pandemic. Every day, the country is learning as we embark on this response. Everybody is learning. The citizens are learning. We are all learning. So it's a learning call for everybody. And we must acknowledge this. It is not time to engage in opposition. It is not time to engage in name calling. It is not time to engage in blame trading. It is rather time that we must come together, harness our resources, harness our intellectual powers, harness our commitment so that we can collectively surmount this disaster. We urge also on government to do its best and to continue to upgrade the healthcare system. We call on government to continue to engage the civil society, especially at the community level, so that the response from the community will be more comprehensive and community-based. Finally, and to end our remark, we'd like to thank and appreciate our frontline responders, our health workers, our media practitioners, and other essential service providers. We'd like to also pay our condolences to families, friends who have lost loved ones, and as we have said, this is an unfortunate situation, but with one heart, as we leverage on our commonness, as we leverage on our unity, we hope that Nigeria, Africa, and the global community will surmount this pandemic by God's grace. Thank you very much. And may God